The first month of 2023 opened with a bang and how? It started off with the hot and happening Auto Expo followed by a few important launches including the Royal Enfield Super Meteor 650. But it looks like the momentum will slow down a bit this month with only a handful of launches expected. But before we proceed further, make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon for all the auto related content. You can also follow us on Instagram and if you have any queries, do let us know over there. Matter's first electric bike was unveiled in November last year and it was showcased at the Auto Expo this year. And now, we really hope it's just a matter of time the company launches the electric bike this month. It is India's first electric motorcycle with a liquid-cooled motor as well as a liquid-cooled battery pack. And it's got something that only petrol-powered motorcycles are usually known for. A 4-speed transmission complete with a clutch. It offers a claim range of 125 to 150 km depending on the variant and the performance should be equivalent to a 150cc petrol powered motorcycle. The dark side of Japan is all set to get a little greener with the updated Yamaha MT-15 V2 that could be launched this month. Homologation documents of the updated model has surfaced online and it will comply with BS6 Phase 2 norms that will be enforced from April this year. According to new regulations, vehicles will have to comply with emissions not only in laboratory conditions but also in real time in the real world. It will have to use a second generation onboard diagnostic device which will measure emissions in real time and the system alerts if there are any discrepancies. But apart from the emission norms, the rest of the specifications of the motorcycle seems to have remained more or less unchanged. Adding to the flood of new EVs is River a Bengaluru-based electric startup that is currently working on an electric scooter that the company calls the SUV of scooters. A quick look will remind you of the Yamaha Neos and the twin LED headlights look pretty cute. It is also decently equipped with an apron integrated crash bars, large alloy wheels with a front disc brake among others. With a mid-mounted motor and a belt drive, the scooter is expected to offer performance equivalent to a 110cc petrol-powered scooter. Apart from these, Yamaha could also launch the updated version of the FZX this month. It could be updated with a dual-channel ABS and a few new color schemes. Apart from the FZX, another possibility could be the launch of the Yamaha FZX25. Just like how Yamaha branched its 150cc FZ range with a Neo Retro bike, the company could do the same with a 250cc platform. We'll know what exactly Yamaha is cooking in the weeks to come. Until then, stay tuned.